Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and we are here to play more Simic Merfolk in Historic. So, let's go and find ourselves some match. Get our traditional Historic ranked. That's so much better. Last time it took like a full minute. Here we just get in with one second. Awesome. Uh, we get to be on the play. Let's see. I think we keep this to play the breeding pool tapped. This looks like it'll curve up nicely. Let's see how this is going to go. Dread Wanderer. Okay. Um, so I think here we're just going to use Trickster on this thing. Yeah, no thank you. Let's not be doing this. Alright, uh... It looks like they might have removal, but... Let's see, it could be something like Eliminate. Heartless Act. Okay, that's fine. Like, we have Collected Company to follow up with, so... Not super concerned. Well, that's a little bit more concerning. So I guess I'm going to wait till their turn to do this. So if we find another Trickster or a Glass Pool Mimic, we'd be able to tap this thing down. Uh, looks like they do have to kill the Regery, though, or we're going to get in a huge attack. Well, they have the Rider. I don't know if this Spawn of Mayhem could actually attack, though. That seems sketchy. That's not enough. No, actually, it's it's close. So what happens here? Well, they don't have anything. So I attack with everything here. They go to the nine. They kind of have to block everything, right? Okay, let's say they block two things. They block with, like, Murderous Rider and Gutter Bones. They take six. They go to three. I still have a miscolor to block, though. Yeah, I think I have to do this. I think they, they have to block with at least two things. And we just kind of have to dodge removal here. Um, yeah, I guess this just has to happen. No, well, you can't do that. Uh, no, I guess I guess you can do that. That works. The thing is, if they block with three, if they block with three creatures, they can't actually kill me next turn. So that's kind of the debate they have to go through here. If they block with two creatures, I still have a blocker, so they need like removal spell plus a thing. Okay. 
No, uh, this still works, right? Uh, I have to kill something, so I guess... I guess we do it like this. No, but they just die to their own spawn of mayhem. Um... <laughs> This thing's going to kill you. You can't be at one life right now. That was a mistake. Alright, well... I don't know... Yeah, that, that, that was not the block they needed there. <laughs> okay. Um... The Miss Collar could actually be okay. I don't know how useful this is going to be. Probably Borrower and Kira might be better. To take something out. Um. What do we take out? One. I guess Relic of Regenerus is also reasonable. Alright, we'll just do it like this. This seems fine. Rager is kind of the worst three drop here because they have a lot of removal spells. And, um, the removal is going to trade better than Ragery will, so. We do have to be somewhat concerned in case they have something spicy in the sideboard, like Witch's Vengeance or something. They'll just, like, name Merfolk and kill all their stuff. Or, I guess, maybe Ritual of Soot? That's entirely possible. Um, this hand seems fine. I think we, this looks pretty easy to keep. I don't think I'm going to block this. I don't... I don't know if they actually have removal here, either. I don't think they do. Um... So I could play the speaker plus the miscaller. I think that might actually be the way to go here. Because then when I play the Mist Binder next turn, I can play that plus Glass Pool Mimic, and then I get in a much bigger attack. I'm not going to block this. I think my attack is going to be a lot better. Well, they have to take Mist Binder. They don't really get a choice in this. <sighs> So I guess the glass pool that make that's the only other. No, they took a spalum. Interesting. All right. Well, This is, uh, getting dangerous. I guess we just have to place Phelan here. These blocks suck. Um, I 
you have to block at least one of these. Okay. So I can actually attack with Spalun here and then untap it with Rejury. I don't think that's enough to win, but... Um, the Shoreline Scout, and then I have... I'll have four blockers. I think that's fine. I can actually attack with this too. Then I'd have to actually block. No, I, I don't have to, right? I guess the only thing is if they have removal, then that's really dangerous. So, all right, we'll just play it safe here. All right. So even if they have a removal spell, I'm still not dead here. And Trickster is going to win the game. Okay, well that doesn't work. I think they're just screwed. Yeah, alright, we got there. Didn't need to get greedy. Nothing to it. Alright, I think we got time. We can play one more. So, there we go. We got to actually see... Uh, Rejury using his untapped trigger for defensive purposes that time. It's actually really helpful. Svalin, once again, was a boss. Alright, let's play. Um, I think this hand's good. We'll keep. We'll turn one of these um, breeding pools into a drop. We'll go with the clear water pathway first. We got Silvergill to curve up into Svaloon. That seems good. Mert. Temple of Malice. Okay. So there's still, there's a couple things this could be. It could be Tybalt's Trickery, but I doubt it. Might want to actually play these two next turn. Oh, Croxa. I think we discard Glass Pull here. Uh, well, the Botanical's pretty good. So, how do we go about this? I think, actually... Alright, so if they have Croxa, then Svalin's probably a little better here. So we want to start drawing cards as soon as possible. And this gives us a little bit more protection, which is nice. Temple. So, or this like some sort of Grixis control deck. Uh, they are just like, nope, can't beat that. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm guessing that Relic of Progenitus is good here. Maybe Miscaller is not as good. Um, I don't know. We might not need Trickster. It's hard to say. Trickster is definitely fine. Um, I do have Kira's as well. Actually, you know what? 
Now these colors are usually very removal heavy, so maybe Redry is, not, is actually the cut. We can take out some of them. It's fine. The other option is Test of Talents. This card seems like it's probably good, but I don't know if there, there's not a whole lot more I want to cut right now. Like we, we're I think our deck is set up very well for this. And I think my opponent, uh, yeah, they know that they're going to struggle a little bit. That's why they conceded early. Uh, this hand looks fantastic. All right. Well, I think they probably have to take the Relic Regenitus. Like, they're never going to get Crocs off if I get this Relic out of here. They took Silver Gill Adept. That's surprising. Okay, well... I guess I'm going to play the Shoreline Scout first. And then probably play Relic and hold it up next turn. I want to I want to have um, some amount of power in play, so... Force them to interact with my board a little bit. I'm gonna pl all right. I'm gonna tap out here. I'll play the speaker. Try to get underneath some of the. All right, or not under. Well, I, I want to put pressure in the board. Basically, that's the plan. Ooh, that's real, real good. Um, we'll see what they do here. Oh, you are gonna wish that you had not burned that on this. Um. Well, I think we have no choice but to play Svalun here. See, but we lost out on damage with Shoreline Scout, but if we had played Svalun first, then that would have been terrible. Oh, um, well, that's definitely a card. I don't need to attack into that right now. I think what my plan is going to be is I'm just going to trickster that thing. And then I can just glass pull and copy the trickster next turn. Okay, see now I also have to wonder if I play two lords, like there there's a lot of ways this goes right. Um I guess I think I guess I keep the glass pool here. There is the possibility of playing these two, but I think I still want to copy the trickster if I can. Um. Okay. I don't think they want to attack. That seems terrible. I don't need to attack here. I'm guessing maybe this is another Ritual of Soot. No, another Obliterator. Ooh, that's rough. Um. Hmm. They got 10 damage next turn. I don't need to block them still. Like, I'm still threatening to kill them, I think. I'll probably just crack one of these relics. Like, if they attack with one of these, like, it's so bad. Um. I don't know if that's gonna work.
All right, here I think that maybe I need to crack this relic. So unfortunately, I don't have lethal just yet. I just have to dodge like Ritual of Soot. I'm definitely getting rid of the speaker. Here, maybe Trickster will be enough if I can find that. They got Blood Chief's Thirst. No! No, I needed that so badly. Fuck. Alright. Well, this is getting tough because the, the second Obliterator was actually really good. going to have to sacrifice something. If I attack with the Sphaloon, the problem is I'm going to lose, like, everything, so. Um, you have to sacrifice five permanents, then? We might just be at the point, though, where we just sacrifice, like, five lands. And then this thing. Now we have to sacrifice six things. Oh god. I can't. I, I need to wait for like a trickster. But once I find trickster then we're in better shape. But until then probably not so much. It's just going to be really hard until then. Without trickster then it's rough. So I guess maybe if we can... T <sighs> See now here's the other problem. I'm kind of banking on Collected Company off the top, and Bolas can actually kill Sphaloon now. Alright, I think now we've died. The fact that they, they got uh, Obliterator into Obliterator into to Bolas, that was a little bit too much. But that's fine. We, we can actually deal with this next game. Uh, I think we're just dead. I don't really have a, a good comeback plan here. Denial would have actually been good if we had found it. Okay. So I guess we do need this. Um... To take out one more thing. Glass pole is usually not that good against these decks. The borrower can push through the obliterator, so we'll do that. We're on the play now, so we'll see. Well, this hand sucks. This is much better. Uh, we will just put... Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. So this just goes in the bottom. I'm definitely playing the speaker because I don't want to run the trickster out. They have to take Svalun here. Like, it, ha it easily has to be Svalun, right? That's the by far the most dangerous card. Why the fuck would you take Brazen Borrower? That's just it's weird. 
Maybe they have, maybe they have like a lemonade or something. All right. Well, we'll play this. Um, I guess we'll play. I don't think there's any reality in which it matters to play the island this turn. Yeah, it kind of sucks. This looks like they're holding up Eliminate or something like that. So we'll hold the Mistbinder back here. Make them burn the removal on the Dink. Yep. Now if they play like Obliterator, maybe Trickster can tap it down. We can get in an attack that way. Ooh, nothing. Well, they have to have something here. But they're stuck on three lands. Oh, they can't play Obliterator for a while. Okay, well, we might just win because they're mana screwed. Probably holding, like, Obliterator, Croxa, Bolas... All right, they die. All right, whatever. We got there. Their their clunky three color mana base was their undoing. So, yata. We definitely have if we if we know that we're gonna go up against a lot of like these kind of decks, it is very possible to tweak our deck to be a little bit better against them. Um, yeah, decisive denial. I think it is it's decent against them. We also have other options like spell pierce is really fine. I mean, you could bring in Test of Talents. Like, it's it's definitely okay if you can nab, like, a Ritual of Soot or something with it. The more I'm looking at the sideboard, though, like, I don't... It, it depends. If we go up against, like, one, one of, like, the, the co like, creativity combo decks, like, countering creativity with Test of Talents is devastating, but I haven't actually seen, like, any of that, so... I don't know. I, I don't know if test if, if we haven't really played it a whole lot, so maybe we don't need it as much. But honestly, like our sideboard still feels like it's pretty solid all around. It's not like a whole, it's not much else that I really want to find room for in here. Like I guess I don't know. spell pierce maybe or maybe like uh, negate or something. I'm not sure. Let me know if you have if you if you have suggestions. Like what would you put in here? Because I think that these cards are fine against the control decks, but I don't know if I actually need them, to be honest. So, it's hard to say. It, the, the downside to this is it can't counter stuff like Nickel Bolas or, you know, Teferi or whatever. So, But that's alright. We, we still have, like, really good game against it, as you saw. And, you know, anytime they stumble even a little bit, we have a very aggressive plan. Because we have tons and tons of lords to keep adding power to the board. So, it's, uh, it's good. All right, well, that's our match for today. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, we had two good matches, moving up a little bit. Uh, please give these videos a thumbs up. Um, and Historic is the, the one thing right now I'm actually enjoying. So it would make me really happy to know if you guys are enjoying this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not really feeling like Modern or Legacy at the moment. But, like, this format, I think that we are actually doing really good here. So... And let me know your experience. Like, if you're playing Merfolk out there in Historic, how are you doing with it? I'm curious. I will read your comments. So, yeah, please leave some nice messages. And uh, that's all I got. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.